Like the video and subscribe right now, and I'll show you a picture of Double Doggo. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Make up Shreks better than regular Shreks, that's why I like starting she. Hey handsome, did you miss me? Cause I miss you. Come over. Let's cuddle. Nah, I'm Ovid Free don't worry. We don't have to keep our distances. Ovid is not the reason I don't want to come over. You cheated on me remember? Pandemic or not, I wouldn't touch you with 10 foot pool. Duck you asshole. Get over it. It was 2 years ago. Have fun being a lone loser. I will. Hey. I know that you read my message and I know your home I drove by earlier. I don't know what your problem is, you only talk to me when you're drunk and it's annoying. Your dick is small, and you don't have a dad bod. You're just fat. Lose my number. So a correction, you message me first when you're drinking, I only reply back, because I usually drinking. I won't shame you on anything else though, because well it's just uncalled for. Sometimes things don't work out. Go birds. Go duck yourself fat ass. You know what, I've been putting up with your bullshit for 2 months, and it was a ducking waste of time. Every time you get in one of your moods, you ignore me. Were you even ready for a relationship? Did you even have balls to face the reality, and tell me with your own ducking mouth, we are breaking up? No. You know what my friends called you. Child and a bitch. Are you that scared to talk to me, and tell me by there? The one time you get mad at me, you just dip. That really reflects what kind of person you are. Have fun neglecting all the other girls you meet. Oh, and what else were you insecure about? Your parents? Haha. <laughs> if you weren't autistic enough to do drugs, maybe your life wouldn't be so miserable now. Maybe if you had a brain and didn't give in to pure pressure and start ruining your mind and your body. You know, that was a red flag. When I found out you did drugs, no person with a healthy attitude towards life would do that. I was upset at first but now I'm glad we aren't together anymore. Because any more of putting up with you old made my life so much more miserable. Dude, try dating yourself, try waking up to shit jokes and a good morning, and good night. Try getting a $4 Christmas card and 3 sentences on it. Try getting a dumb bitch who shows up 45 minutes every time and looks tired as duck, so you feel guilty to talk and drain him. You have an emotional capacity of a turtle. You told me you took a psychotic test because of what you did to your high school ex. So like I was saying I had a question for you. I was just wondering, how big is your... Um hello? Sorry, I just didn't know how to reply to that to be honest. You seem like a nice enough person, but I don't know if I've been feeling any spark between us. I think we are just looking for different things. I'm sorry. What the duck? So two days of chatting down the drain? Just for asking you one question? Sorry, I'm just not interested. I just wanted to be honest and let you know. It's not just because of that. Do you understand how much of my time you've wasted? I'm ducking gorgeous. I could have spent that time chatting to guys way hotter than you, and I chose to talk to you. Don't you see that? I answered so many personal questions about me, and you won't answer one. To me that just shows your dick is so small you're embarrassed by it. So why would I want your tiny ducking cock anyways? Your lack of response just shows I'm right. I just stalked your Facebook and the more pics I see of you the more I know I'm right about your tiny. You say we are looking for different thing yeah whatever dude. As if you aren't on Tinder to get laid. I love how you can't even reply to anything I said lol just shows a lot about you lol everyone I know says I'm the hottest nicest girl I ever met. And if you can't see that why would I give a duck lol? Find some ugly slut to stick your tiny in and don't ever ducking contact me again you ugly duck. Wow. What the duck did I just say? Don't ducking contact me. Can't even read or understand. English is it? Just shows a lot that's when you respond. Me as a girlfriend. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I don't really hate you, but I'm having a moment. So I hate you. But you can ducking reply. Damn man. How dumb can you be? Love me what the duck. I love you. Whatever. I sent a booty pic to 13 guys on snapchat and not one guy hyped me up. Duck all y'all. Don't wanna brag, 
but to be honest I'm the kindest, the most loyal, and the most loving soul you will ever get in your life. Being pretty and Shreksy are the add-on qualities, which shouldn't be ignored. So if you lose me, it's definitely your loss. I'm not the person who gives up on people easily. But if I gave up on you, that's because I got tired, being the only one who puts in effort. I will still love you from a distance, but will make sure that I stay away from your life. Lots of love. Dear B, what the heck happens to men between the ages of 45 and 60? It seems the women there, after are all 15 to 20 years younger. I don't mean just for Shreks but for dating, love and marriage too. We middle-aged women are often overlooked because these middle-aged guys don't realize we are at our Shrekshul peak and often hot as hell. And we are active in many interesting, fulfilling activities. By the time these men come to their senses they are usually washed up and impotent. Why is nature and society so cruel and unfair? How can I as a Shreksy, active middle-aged woman, beat the odds? I do not intend to remain celibate and alone for the rest of my life. Still fun in the south. Dear still fun, you can't change other people, but you can change the way you react to them. A way to beat the odds would be to stop focusing solely on middle-aged guys and consider dating men a bit younger who appreciate what you have to offer. Even if it doesn't lead to marriage, you could have a lot of fun in the meantime. Featured comment. Doid cozy leg. Somebody makes a funny comment. Mimelian. And I took that personally. If you want to be featured in the next video use hashtag dankness. I'm loyal, thick, supportive, text back fast, a little jealous, and I stay in the house. What else is there to ask for? When you have a fight and expect to wake up to texts of him saying how much you mean to him, but he ain't even reply. Don't flirt with me unless you ready to put me in your B.O. Featured photos, lock screen, and my voice is your ringtone. My girlfriend just asked me why I still pay rent for my apartment when I spend every night at her place so now I have to come up with an answer that somehow doesn't include the phrase breakup insurance. Sounds like with that attitude you probably should break up so she can find a decent honest guy. You are just using her. If a girl cares about you, she'll get upset over little things, and if you can't handle that, go for a hoe that doesn't care what you do. I remember I helped my friend burn her man's shit and my man left me for it. Umfeo, he said I was on nut shit by association. Smart man. Umfeo so I was hella pissed at my boyfriend and made him drop me off at home cause I didn't wanna be around him anymore and then 15 minutes later he calls me like k are you ready to come back now? Like who does he think he is? And yes I'm ready lol. The best females are always going to be the most difficult, so deal with it or get yourself a basic hoe. I wanted to argue with my boyfriend. He's an angel, so there's no reason in the first place, but I was just feeling it, so I told him, and he screams damn it why are you so hard to deal with, and I started crying, because I thought he was actually angry, and says what I was just playing along, why are you crying? I just wanted a kiss, but he wouldn't cheat on his girlfriend. Whoa, your nice girl is showing, it is. Why do you guys go crazy for the broke needy girls, but not the strong independent good women? I mean do you all love being treated like shit? I guess it's like a drug with a constant whiplash and merry go round of fun and abuse. I don't understand it. To everyone that hates me duck yourselves cause I'm actually really nice girl. When you wasted your whole life being a good girl with morals, but these hoes still got a husband before you. My boyfriend is acting insecure just because I slept with another guy at a motel without informing him. I did this because he was being needy, plus we are not married anyway, so I'm technically single. What's he crying about? I don't think she is hard to love. Maybe she just seemed difficult because nobody ever had the patience to understand her. I'm so sick of feeling unloved and unwanted. I need to be treated like a baby princess to be honest, and if you can't handle that get the duck out my life. 
My bar is high sorry you can't reach it. Yes she was a generic version of me, and was worse than me that's when I realized men don't leave you to find somebody better than you, they find somebody easier, sigh. Cause anything worth it isn't gonna be easy, and people always go for what's easy, and I'm just not easy. I realize that no one is happy in this world, it's like a handful of people authentic left. Otherwise we're living in the last episode of the Twilight Zone. You're right. No one is happy. I've been single my whole life and no one is interested in marrying me from the US. I either scare them away, or I'm being too nice and loyal. Mostly giving them respect freaks them out. Can we roast this loser please? Like honestly, the audacity. I had to give him an earful. Am I crazy? Probably but at least I respect all women, not just modest women. His response? I'd expect nothing less from a d-bag. You've been visited by French Papa. You will be blessed with many girls and evil towers, but only if you comment. Omelette du fromage. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more daily videos.